Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Krista and I'm here to do the August 2019 general reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope that you enjoyed your July 2019 general reading. For any personal concerns or questions, my email address is in the description for this video below. You can contact me anytime for a personal reading. So this is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. And it's for August 2019. We're still moving through a little bit of a Mercury retrograde that should be over by the middle of August. So if you're tying up any loose ends, this is a great time to do it, and you should see things fit into place um, by mid-August. All right, Pisces, we're doing a five-card spread today. We're using the Good to Road deck as our um, main uh, deck for our general spread. And then, of course, we'll get jumper cards from our Oracle decks here. As always, I will be using the bottom of the deck card for general energy. I just so enjoy doing that now. I find there's so much information to glean from that. Okay, so for a water sign, you have a lot of air, lots of, holy smokes, lots going on. I'd say beneath the surface, ideas, thoughts, beliefs, um, conversations, um, information, research. Uh, I would be where particularly here with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords to really get out of your head. Um, I think that you can worry yourself into a type of despair if you let yourself this month. If there is any legal issues, uh, particularly if you're dealing with a judge, a lawyer, the legal system, uh, I would say get more information at this time. Don't get wrapped up in your head. If you have any questions, ask them. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have some heavy energy here. We have a second chance here with the judgment card. Something is made clear to you. You finally realize you're on solid ground here by the end of the month. So, and then, you know, this gorgeous, fruitful empress right in the center of everything, a lot of creative energy. You could be giving birth to something here. Um, there could be, you know, a lot of um, creative projects coming to the fore. Like I said at the very beginning, if you were working on projects and waiting to finalize or finish something by the middle of the month, it looks like it's going to come to fruition for you. Bottom of the deck energy right underneath um, our Knight of Swords is some really solid energy and then a surrender or a sacrifice is necessary here. I don't know if you're aware of that or if you want to acknowledge that or even if you knew that that was an option to get out of your head, but you know, maybe even sacrifice doesn't always mean a terrible thing. It could be, you know, you're giving up the need to be anxious about something or to overthink something or giving up the need to um, be so independent that you don't ask for help, right? You know, um, surrender or sacrifice doesn't have to be a terrible thing, particularly when it's coming after this really fruitful queen of pentacles, right? Very, very, I think, energetically associated with the empress here. It's no... Um, it's no accident that their colors are even similar, but someone who's very creative, but someone who's very down to earth, right? Someone who's very earthy, interested in the earth, animals, plants, um, finances, you know, establishment. This is someone who's established or interested in establishment. Of course, this is Capricorn ruled just because all the queens are cardinal ruled. Um, so you could be dealing with some 10th house energy as well here, some, you know, public life maybe finances, investments. But yeah, you know, I think changing your mind about something here, getting out of your head, making a vow with yourself that you're going to, again, when I said, you know, sacrifice or surrender, one or the other, right? You're really going to have to set yourself free here because you're inundated with thoughts. You could require more information at this time. And we started we started the reading off that way anyway, Pisces. We started off by saying, look, if there's something that needs revision or tying up, you know, take the first two weeks of August to do it. Don't stress about it. It really does have so much to do with the Mercury and retrograde right now. And it could be your best friend. Okay. It could really 
come to pass that something difficult or something you didn't want to hear or know or learn or discover about yourself or someone else, as it were, um, in the long run, it's better. It's always better to have the truth. It's better to be in knowledge, right? In the light than it is in the dark. Um, so the situation is someone who has really all the answers, someone who is in control of information. This could be specifically, again, it's a general reading. Um, so apply any of these terms associated with the energies that I'm relaying from these cards for you. Um, this could be a judge. This could be a lawyer. Uh, if this is a partner for you, or it could be um, some, uh, elements of your own chart. Okay. So this is Aquarius ruled King of swords. We do have, you know, the fixed energies rules, the King, right? So you could even have Aquarius in your own chart, Pisces, and it could just be coming out really strongly right now. You're really, instead of say the romantic or, you know, the really um, sort of emotionally available sign of Pisces this month, you could have to rely on this energy right here, or you're having to tackle this energy right here, which is ultimately, it's pretty cold. It's the cold, hard truth, right? Um, but like I said, in order to move confidently forward with your own feelings or ideas, thoughts or beliefs, patterns anyway, you need the truth. So the situation is either calling for absolute truth or um, this is something you're going to have to call upon within your own psyche or your own personality traits, which is, you know, you can be friendly about this too. Remember that Aquarius rules the 11th house. 11th house is all about wishes and friendships and, um, you know, groups of people. Uh, it could even be, you know, telling the truth about those situations, about anything in involved with the 11th house, right? Including, including your hopes. So this, the challenge here is to get out of your head. Like I said, uh, we're dealing with the nine of swords energy. This is a real sleepless night. There's a lot of anxiety around this card, um, or at least it represents uh, anxiety. It's just kind of like a mental anguish. But again, I find with the nines, we kind of do it to ourselves, right? We either do it to ourselves or we did it to ourselves. So you can find a way out of this. I think if you have to look outside of yourself, you can just have a conversation, look for some help right now, look for someone who's solid and down to earth perhaps, or look at that part of yourself. Um, but yeah, I think it could be weighed down by something here, by even a revelation, right? You know, we do have judgment down here. There could be kind of a new dawning of something, a new... Ex um, something that's sort of coming around again I, with the Mercury and retrograde that often happens, right? Something crops back up that we didn't initially deal with or we didn't come to terms with. And it's like, it's coming back up so you can finally put it to rest and move forward and accept it. Um, but I do feel strongly that more information is necessary for you at this time. I would spend at least the same amount of time looking for that information in, um, Reminding yourself that everything's going to be okay, that not all is lost, that you um, do have the answers, right? We're going to look at the positive side of this Knight of Swords, which essentially brings us a lot of rushing energy. I mean, this person is moving full speed ahead with information. Perhaps you're taking something that you've learned um, that you're not too crazy about to somebody else. Okay, that could be another way to read this as well. The Empress is Taurus ruled. So we are dealing with, uh, generally speaking, some fixed energy here. And uh, of course, our Capricorn ruled uh, Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with individuals with those signs or who um, have those sort of elements or qualities to their personality, but this could strictly be you. Um, so yeah, here with the challenge, really getting out of your head, okay? You want to help yourself out of thinking poorly about a situation, yourself or somebody else. Smack in the center of everything is the solution, right? Let's get creative about this. What are some possible ways to confront or deal or combat or accept? Like, let's get creative about how to come to terms with something. 
right? And I do think because this is very uh, earth energy, we have our queen of pentacles over here. We have a surrender or sacrifice uh, perspective is necessary. And then a second chance here. I really feel like whatever's going on here in your uh, mind is just going to be It'll feel like it's been there so long and then it'll just be over. You know why? Because we have in the hidden, we have this brand new evidence. We have this brand new sort of truth. We have this brand new aha moment for you. So I think that working in tandem with this really fruitful creative uh, empress here and then the hidden element you know, in tandem with her, which is the sort of truth. This is exact information. This is precise information. It is a new opportunity, right? I think these in tandem are going to lead to this second chance here. And I think it's just going to be here and gone before you know it. I don't think this is going to, you know, last the whole month. It's not going to be daunting and take over. It's just a decision that you need to make here more than anything, because your outcome is a second chance. You have a second opportunity here. You have a, a new way of looking looking at things, right? Either new information or new perspective. You've made a pact with yourself. I'm not going to do this anymore, etc. And now you have through your creative uh, mind, right? Using your mind creatively. Look at all of these mind cards, all the swords, air, is the mind. There is actually no cups here. There's nothing having to do. Um, your emotional self isn't in charge this month. The mind is. And we all know the mind controls our emotions. So we're really going to set ourselves, um, be fair with ourselves, be kind to ourselves, and um, get out of your head, have difficult conversations if you need to. What do I want to look at the most here? Let's look at the challenge. Why is the Nine of Swords your challenge? What is behind the Nine of Swords? What is really the challenge behind this anxiety? What is the challenge about? Well, we had two jump out. Yeah, I mean, moving on, totally. So this is a victory, the chariot. This could literally be a car. It could literally be travel. Uh, but it's essentially moving forward. Guess why? Because you're walking away from something that emotionally doesn't serve you anymore. You just need to make this decision, Pisces. I'm confident of it. You could be dealing with a Cancerian as well. Uh, the chariot is ruled by Cancer, as we know. It's also fourth house energy. This could have something to do with the home or someone else's home as well. So just make sure that you emotionally move away from something that feels a little, you know, for lack of a better term, toxic to your, um, you know, mental and emotional world at this time. You can do it. I think you know exactly what it is too. You're going to emotionally move away from that. What isn't working for you? Don't let it drag you down. It's not worth it. Get a new perspective, right? You're solid. You're, you're coming into this on solid ground. Um, you know, kindness, could be an antidote at this time. Kindness and compassion for yourself or others could be an antidote at this time. I mean, um, just because we're dealing with such strict and stern, uh, also known as cold energy here with the King of Swords. So, you know, kindness and compassion, you know, let yourself walk away from something that isn't working. Happy, happy. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. This card, look at this. It's a, it's a literal celebration. She's got hummingbirds, confetti. She's got balloons. She's this gorgeous little party fairy. Um, she's on a mandala, right, with an egg and a key in it. So you really have all the answers at this time. I do feel like, you know, this is coming from within. I don't feel like this is something being said to you necessarily. Again, this is a general reading. It could be a conversation you're having with someone else. But it, it, it looks to me as though this is happening sort of internally for you. You have the power here, Pisces. So that's what I'm saying here. You have the power to set yourself free from difficult thoughts or beliefs or opinions or attitudes. And you deserve to. You deserve to. You're going to you're gonna just switch up your worldview um, and set yourself free from something. Something that's been dragging you down. Just make a vow. You know, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to walk away from that. I deserve better. And I think it's going to be exciting. Anytime I see an ace, honestly, especially when it's in the hidden, this could very well be an aha moment for you. You know, um, you know, the aces are very exciting. I think there's a little bit of victory involved there as well. A sense of, you know, I have the answer. I got it. I figured it out. Um, so there, and it could be here that you have a greater respect for yourself at the end of the day. 
Yeah, we have the trickster, um, especially because we have a lot of air quality going on for you, particularly until the second week here. I'm going to suggest that you don't trick yourself, right? You could be trying to fool yourself here. Someone else in your environment could be doing it as well. But because this looks like a lot of independent um, internal thought energy going on for you in the month of August, it looks like you just be aware that you're not tricking yourself. Uh, the coyote, a really um, good way to remember sort of the story behind him is just to remember the whole wily coyote. Like <laughs> it can get funny, right? It can get, it, it, it can get hilarious. Um, he's always defeated and it's because he always has this hubris, right? Like, haha, I'm going to get him this time, get the roadrunner this time. But it's kind of like, <laughs> it's, it's humiliating for him. So just be aware that you don't think something, think that you're getting ahead or think that you're getting one up on you or somebody else. And really you've just cornered yourself in something, you know, do something with a lot of love here. Try not to be cold about the situation, you know, even though, even though that may feel like a natural state for you this month answered prayer. Yeah. Really reach out, uh, ask for help at this time. You can have a prayer answered. It could be, like I said, very strictly, it could just be something that you've decided for yourself. You could be answering your own prayers, right? Look at these. They actually look fairly similar. And this is judgment. This is a second chance that I feel very strongly here that you are giving yourself. I think, <laughs> sure, you could be reaching out and asking for a prayer to be answered, but I really feel like you're doing it for yourself this month. Now... Could the prayer have been that you have obtained new information or new insight or an, or an ability um, to move on from this? Sure. And you've given it to yourself. It's all the same thing, right? As long as your prayer is answered. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, whether this is within yourself, a community project, whether this is with a within a partnership of any kind, you know, this is really allowing yourself to be honest, right? Having difficult conversations, coming to terms with the truth, um, seeing people exactly as they are, including yourself is essential at this time. Uh, revealing yourself so that bonds deepen is uh, a very beautiful thing. I would just be very, say, calculating about who you're doing that with, essentially, and um, be discriminating about who you're sharing your time with, essentially. Make sure you didn't get tricked um, into something, or you don't fool yourself, right? Or you don't think you have the upper hand, um, or imagine you have the upper hand when in reality something else is happening. So continue to get to know yourself in this situation. Know who you are in order to introduce yourself fully to the other person, and then you know what to expect from them when you ask questions and get to know each other as well. So the whole purpose here, at least by the end of the month, is to deepen bonds um, or to strengthen your own self and your own soul here. So Pisces, I had a blast reading this for you. I truly hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did like and share my videos, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and comment below. I love hearing from you guys. So until we meet in the next video, take excellent care. Bye for now.